Whether you want to customize an existing theme or upload one you've created, this tutorial will show you two ways how to upload and download ghost themes. The first method is one that uses the ghost admin to upload and download themes, and it's perfect for making quick edits. The second method uses the terminal, and it's ideal when you have more involved uh, customizations to make or you're building a theme from scratch. Let's get into it. To download a theme from Ghost Admin, log into your Ghost site, go to Settings, Design, Change Theme, Advanced, and click on the Overflow menu and choose Download. If you want a different theme that is not your active one, then you can install it. So we'll click on Headline, click Use Headline, Install. Wait a second for it to install. And now go back to our themes. Again, click on Advanced. And then click on the three uh, dots and click Download. Now the, down or the theme is downloaded to your system and it's ready to be opened up in your code editor and edited. Uploading a theme is very similar to downloading one. From the theme menu, you'll wanna click Upload Theme and you can drag over your file. This should be a zip file of the theme. And because we're using one that already exists, it's gonna ask and prompt us to let us know that it's gonna overwrite it. That's fine, we'll click overwrite. It'll upload the theme as expected and it will be ready to go. If it's a new theme that you are not using yet, you will have to click activate it to make it the active theme. Using the terminal to download a ghost theme gives you a lot more control and, and power over uh, what you do with the theme. So all of Ghost's official themes are on our GitHub and you can find all of them there. We're gonna use here the starter theme and the starter theme is great for giving you kind of a, a leg up in creating a custom theme because it takes care of a lot of the boilerplate for you. So when you're on one of our themes or on a GitHub repository for a theme, what you're going to want to copy is under the code menu and the URL here. Um, so you can see that this goes to GitHub, and this goes to um, our um, repository and then specifically to the starter theme. So once we've copied that, we're gonna switch over to our terminal and we're gonna use a um, command npx dget and then paste in that URL that we copied. And then we can choose any directory name we want for our theme. So I'm gonna call this custom ghost theme. And what dkit does is it copies the repo, but it leaves off the git history. So it gives you a fresh blank slate to start from. All right, so I'm gonna press enter, and this will clone the um, repository into that directory that I just created. I'm going to now change directories into the new one that we created. Here you can see that all those files have now been copied. And in order to get the theme ready for working with, I need to run npm install. This will install all of the um, dependencies that are required to get the theme working. Next, I can run npm run dev. And this creates and starts the development environment. This doesn't do anything really yet because we haven't connected it to a local ghost site, but that's how you would start the development server. Likewise, you can also do npm run zip, and this creates a zip file that you can then upload like we did in the previous step. After downloading a theme with the terminal, the way to really take it to the next level is to connect that downloaded theme to a local Ghost installation. We have another tutorial about uh, installing Ghost locally, so check that out if you're not sure about that. But um, this is right now, I'm in my site's directory and I'm in a local Ghost installation. Um, the directory is called Ghost Test. 
If I show the contents of this directory, you can see that it's the usual contents for a ghost installation. And what I want to do is connect that theme that I downloaded to this local ghost installation. So if I CD into content and then, oh boy, into content themes, and I show what's in here, you can see that we just have this Casper theme available. What I want to do is link this directory to that theme directory uh, that I downloaded. And the way that we do that was we use the link command with the S flag, which is for symbolic linking. So this will keep the theme in the directory wherever you downloaded it, but symbolically link it to your ghost installation. And this is good because it keeps uh, your installation directory where you're working on the theme separate from, from the local ghost install, which means that if the local ghost install is deleted or something happens to it, nothing happens to your theme. All right, what you want then is to uh, put in the directory of where your custom ghost theme is, where you downloaded it. So you can see here that um, ours is in projects, themes, custom ghost theme. But like I said, it can be anywhere that you want. All right, then you use a, a dot, a period to say that you want to put it in the current folder. So we press enter. And now if I show the contents here, we see that the custom ghost theme is available in this content themes folder. And I'll want to do a ghost restart to restart my instance of ghost. Now, if I come over to my local installation of Ghost, refresh the page and go to the themes, you'll see that the Ghost Starter theme, the one that we downloaded, is now available and I can activate it. And if I go back here, view my site, you can see that this Ghost Starter theme is now available. Now, to take full advantage of the setup here, what you'll want to do is come back to your terminal and go back to the theme. You'll want to open this up in your code editor. So if you have VS Code installed, you can use this shortcut to open up your code editor. Let me pull this into frame here. And one last thing in the terminal, you'll want to start up your development server. So this is npm run dev. And what this does now is if we refresh that, you'll be able to see real time changes to your theme. And so to illustrate this, we're on a post page. Let's open up our post template. And if I just put in here, let's do an H1. Hi, I save it. You can see that it immediately appears in the template. So what this does is it allows you to have a really nice development experience because you can make changes here and see them appear right away. Likewise, let's open up, here's our assets, our CSS, our index. So this is some of our kind of base index, um, our base styles. So let's change this to black, for instance, save. And you see that it immediately updates in the page. And then you could even do something like this and you have dark mode. Um, so this kind of um, development workflow is really uh, nice and convenient and uh, productive for developing a custom theme. And it all starts with downloading a theme from the terminal. It's also possible to use the terminal or to automate your theme uploads. And the way that you can do that is by using our GitHub action to deploy themes. If you use the starter theme, this is already set up for you initially, and you can find it in the theme under the .github folder workflows, and you'll find a YAML file and this can be called whatever you want. Uh, by default, we call it deploy theme. And this has the boilerplate for deploying your theme to GitHub. And the way that this works is once you upload or push your changes to GitHub, um, it will automatically 
use the API to upload the, th the theme changes to your ghost site. Uh, like I said, this comes with our starter theme by default, but you can also uh, add it to any ghost theme. Uh, here are the instructions, and they'll be in the de description to the video below. But uh, it's pretty easy to set up. So this is what needs to be in your theme, this YAML file. But then you also need to add in uh, the API key and the API URL uh, to your GitHub repo. Additionally, uh, you can use our uh, VS Code extension to quickly add the uh, deploy theme action. So if you haven't um, downloaded this extension, it's really helpful, it has a lot of great features for working on ghost themes. But once you have it installed, what you can do is run the ghost add GitHub actions code for automatic theme deploys action. So when you click this, um, it's going to tell me that my file already exists, but uh, if you don't have it, it will add this file automatically. So I can actually show you. Let's delete this and I will run this again. And so now you see that it's added the file and it gives me this link to bring up the instructions to learn how to fill out everything and all the different options available. If you want to see a full video about uploading a theme or automating your theme deployment with GitHub Actions, let us know in the comments below. You now know how to download and upload a theme. Whether it's using Ghost Admin when you want to make quick changes, or using the terminal for more involved edits, or creating a whole theme from scratch, you're well on your way to shipping your super sick custom ghost theme. As always, we have a text version of this tutorial available at ghost.org slash tutorials. We also have a great forum where you can come and get insights into building ghost themes and see what other people are up to.